across the room to the balance beam. It's unbelievable how in the really big competitions it comes down to what you do on the beam. In first after the second rotation she needs a 13.8 to keep the lead. That is a walk in the park and I tell you just yesterday I saw multiple times routines on the balance beam that were as close to perfect as anything I've ever seen in gymnastics. And Tim, if they weren't perfect, she would get right back up on the beam without looking at Valeri and do it again. She knows what she needs to do. She'll do Valeri it. is her coach. Marta runs the USA Gymnastics show. She had a little bit of an uncharacteristic fall I was watching in the 30-second touch just a little while ago and um, not used to seeing her come off the balance beam. She is the it girl. This might be one of her best events. I love this mount. She just like looks like she's just kind of dancing on the floor. That was a little bit of a misstep. But right here, she'll do a backflip with a half turn right in the beginning. Perfect. She's, front flip. she's got a little bit of the jitters. This was the skill that she had problems with. said and variety in this routine showing great flexibility great diversity in her very difficult skills changing direction combinations you know we keep talking about what it was like to be in the gym with Carly Patterson and Nastia Lukin Nastia was unquestionably one of the best balance beam workers in the world and on an event that has claimed so many gymnastics careers. She's got to hurry, though. You hear the bell there. Super hard dismount as well. Blind landing. And a very large, yeah, she won't super be happy with this. uncharacteristic yeah. step. Yeah. The dismount that's given her some problems in the past. 